So we have a story to tell about um, some type of demonic influence that tried to get into our house. And um, we're wise to the devil's schemes or we're wise to his tactics. So when we are aware of things or sense things, then we're not powerless against it. We know how to deal with her. We do something with it. So we're trying to do a collaboration here of both of our channels of uh, the story. And um, I our, don't know how to do this because we've never done that before. Our other channel, okay. Our other channel is Canadian Family Cupcakes. We'll link it down below. And our other channel is Christian Content. Or it's a play on words, Christian Content. Hmm, thank we'll about link it. it down below. So anyway, um, Tanya was down actually in this room. This is like our music room sort of thing. And uh, she was down here singing something or I can't remember what you were doing. I was, if this was like, I don't know, a couple years ago. And I was actually practicing worship songs for when I used to be on the worship team at church. Right. And uh, the door was closed. The music was loud. And uh, this young woman that we know had come over. And uh, all of a sudden... Um, like I was still upstairs in the kitchen and Tanya comes to the bottom of the stairs and she's like, her eyes are like welling up and I could tell like something was wrong. And she's like, something is here. It's not good. You need to get rid of it. And anyway, so it, the weird part about this was, uh, the young woman was like st first standing there by the door. And then she's like hunched over and like shriveled up and I don't know if she was trying to get out of the house or curl up in a ball on the floor like it was creepy yeah like essentially yeah I was down here I heard Tim come in but I didn't know like I thought he was alone and all of a sudden like what happens to me sometimes not all the time because I feel like God just shows me certain demons so I can deal with them right so yeah, anyway, he's not doing it to scare us. He's no. doing it so that we are aware, so that we can do something about it. Right. So what happens to me is, like, I get that feeling in my chest, but also my hair stands on end like crazy. Like, my hair in one section of my head, it's like, it feels like it's, like, standing, like, up as much as it can. Anyway, it feels really weird. So that's how I know there's something weird. That, ha that happened to me last night, too, uh -huh. after my video about when I was a 17 year old and the demon sat down on the edge of my bed and started talking to me right and I was uploading the video last night and when that second thing happened with that medallion mm -hmm. um I mean my hair was like literally on my arms and the back of my neck like scared really but like um just yeah that happened to me yesterday yeah and uh man all the tries that it took to get that video posted anyway back to our story yeah so i go up the stairs because i'm like well something something bad just came in the house so we need to just deal with it because we can right <laughs> and yeah. uh yeah and so i see i see that young woman um we're just you know protecting her identity whatever because yeah. like it's yeah. you know whatever it doesn't matter um yeah, so like she was trying, it's like, it's like that thing was trying to pull her out of the house. And she was saying, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. And it wasn't, and, and Tonya wasn't saying, get her out of the house. No. <clears throat> she was saying, get rid of that, whatever that darkness is. Yeah. And in knowing that, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers yeah. of the darkness. Yeah. This age, Ephesians 6 something, 12. Yeah, I think it is Ephesians. Imagine. I think you're right. Oh, yeah, I totally got to look that up. So, anyway, yeah, so that was real weird. And sorry, I keep... It is. Nice. Is it Ephesians, Ephesians 6? Ephesians 6, 12. Ah, Whoa, yeah. I got goosebumps from that. Right? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto the whole armor of God. That's what the armor oh, of God right. is. Oh, right. So, in, uh, in other words... Our quarrel is not with Super each good. other, the flesh and blood. Yeah. Our fight against this world is against the demons and the devil. And that's a and good. Fallen uh, angels and that's a good. That's a good uh, perspective about marriage is that people struggling in marriage, you're not fighting with each other, you're fighting with whatever spiritual forces are trying to destroy the marriage covenant. Yeah. 
what God is joined together, let no man... Yeah, put asunder. Put asunder, separate. Or yeah. maybe that's... Apart. I know. Yeah. Anyways, so, yeah, so I go upstairs to see it's, you know, it's, it is who it is, and what's going on is what's going on, so we're like, oh, and so then we're like, all right, we need to deal we with it. We know how to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, we know how to deal with it. And uh, first of all, it's not something that we exercise over other people unless they're in our presence and on our property, and if they're willing to uh, willing to, to have that dealt with or deal with that themselves. Because I believe that the spiritual authority is over your kids. It, it, there's a rank and an order to that, that you don't have spiritual authority just randomly over some stranger walking down the street unless they consent. Maybe they don't have knowledge or understanding of what their spiritual problem is, but if they consent to it, then by all means, they're agreeing with your knowledge or your ability. And, uh, and anyway, so in this case, um, yeah, we, we were saying, no, no, we're not trying to get rid of you. Yeah. We're just trying to get rid of this darkness that, big uh, devil. yeah. And, uh, it's what it is. Yeah. And we prayed, drove that out yeah. and declared that this is our property, that, that no spiritual darkness can, can, can remain here. It can, it can try all at once, but it cannot remain here. Mm -hmm. And everything changed right after that too, yeah. eh? Yeah. But like, yeah, she was like curled up. Oh, on the floor she in a ball. against the door. It was weird. Yeah, it was really weird. Yeah. I forgot all about it until you mentioned it earlier yeah, today. Like, hey, and you're like, hey, let's do that video. That's a good story. If you're looking for creepy stories, yeah, that's a good creepy story. People love creepy stories, but like, we could try to tell creepy stories that have the right message behind it and to teach, to tell the creepy stories, to teach people how to have, how to have power to fight back. Yeah. How to have strength that God wants you to have so that you can fix the things that you need to fix that you can't fix any other way. Right. In the, um, what is it, the Christian Authorities uh, videos series. That, series that I yeah. did. Um, there's already like 20 videos in that. Eh? Anyway, in that series, it's like if, if, if we can share what little we already know while we're learning more, right. then um, some of the areas that people are struggling with, that maybe you know a whole lot about other stuff, but if we can share a little bit of what we know and then learn some other things along the way, um, then we can maybe help you get victory in your marriage or help you get victory in your finances or help you get victory over demonic and spiritual attacks in your house or with your kids or yeah. in the dark yeah, <laughs> or whatever. The power of Jesus makes demons fall helpless on the ground like babies like that's like that's the difference in power because they have power but it is nothing compared to jesus power his they power have, is just they have power but no authority yeah that's the difference but yeah look i'm trying to say like yeah at the name of jesus at the power of jesus right they are useless it's like comparing they a, run crying away yeah <laughs> screaming it's like comparing a, 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 a criminal with a gun. They may have power, but they have no righteous authority. Versus a police officer who has authority and the power to back that up. That, that's what we're talking about. That all power has been given to Jesus. He said, he said it himself. All power has been given into Matthew 28 something. Uh, all power has been given unto me, both in heaven and in earth. And then he says, go and make disciples. And that disciples thing is just simply sharing what you know, sharing sharing the word of God, sharing yeah, the good news. Yeah. The good news is yeah. that you don't have to be subject to the devil's attacks anymore. Yeah. He may attack, but at he least will attack. at least we've, yeah, yeah he will he attack. He will attack. Uh, but at least we've identified that we're on to the tactics of the devil. And we are on to him. You want to be on the side of the guy that has the most power, don't you? Right? Like you want to be on God's side. Because that's, you know, eternity is eternal. Oh, yeah. Right? And, like, seriously, people are just blindly marching into hell, and they're just going to be tormented forever. And like, unnecessarily. Yeah. Completely unnecessarily. And it's sad. It's very sad. If we really, really could sense the heart of God about it, I think, yeah, I think we would be motivated to... 
to share the actual gospel, to share the good news that Jesus Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law and that we are free. What and law? The law of sin and death. For people who don't know. The law what of sin and death. Mean? It means that the wages of sin is death. What if somebody mean? commits <laughs> sin, if somebody violates God's divine law, his will and his order for mankind. And they don't repent. If, if well, before they repent, it's, it's the violation of God's law requires death. It requires Right, payment. it required, yeah. And Jesus paid it all. It required a blood sacrifice, and Jesus was that blood sacrifice. Because he was perfect. Yes, on the cross. He was, yeah, that's what that means. Because remember, like, back in the Old Testament days, if they wanted to get right with God, they had to kill, right? They had to spill blood, right? And then Jesus came, and he was the spilled blood, so we do, that's why we don't do that these days. We don't need to anymore. He was the... 2018 years later. He was the final sacrifice because he was perfect he was yeah. he was yeah. the perfect sacrifice that paid for the sins all of the sins right and then the past so present and like future to e easy access to god now through the name of jesus right yeah so it's just i don't know i just find like a lot of people probably don't know what that meant why do i need to be saved saved from what hell and brimstone like i'm not trying to make light of it but you need to be saved from an eternal life of torture and hell that's what you need to be saved from. And it's not funny. Not really. I mean, here I am trying to make light of it, but that it's the most serious thing there is. And that's why we're doing these videos, because we just believe in it. And, like, how how can we not try to tell people, you know, if we think... And, like, are you looking up the one about how few are finding the... Few people are getting to heaven. Uh, Bible says, you know... Why is the road to hell and narrow is the gate into heaven or something like That's that? That's another one. So what I was looking at is we believe the Bible, we believe that the Bible is true. And the Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then in Romans 5.8, But God commendeth his love. That means he, he demonstrated his love toward us. That in yet that in that while we were, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And then Romans six twenty three, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That sounds this is, good. This is in Romans. If you've never read the Bible before, try to find the book of Romans and read it. It doesn't take very long. It's yeah. not a very, very long, um, it's not a very long, uh, I'm going to stop my video there for a second and restart it. Sorry about that. So, um, the fourth verse in Romans that, uh, is, uh, Romans 10, 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed? How shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. So the Bible is talking about this preaching. It's not like necessarily sitting there in a church and listen to somebody yell at you or tell you all the things you're doing wrong or tell you all the things that are okay to do that... Maybe or maybe not are, are okay or not okay. It's literally preaching. is sharing what the Bible says and what God has done. And it says here from that verse I just read in Romans uh, 10, 13, 14, uh, how sh uh, 15, sorry. How shall they preach except they be sent? Well, Jesus Christ himself, this is the verse that I just mentioned in Matthew uh, 28, I think. Um, stand by. <laughs> Please stand by. Hey, did you hear about the asteroid that's supposed to come whizzing by the Earth there this weekend? Yeah, you keep telling me about it. <laughs> I was telling you. Know, okay, you can share the link below. Yeah, well, maybe I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. So it is Matthew twenty-eight, verse um, 
18 and 19. Jesus came and spake unto them, and saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you all, all way, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So if Jesus really said that, and if the Bible is true, then he has already told us as believers or as Christians to go. So back to uh, that verse in Romans. Wow, that's cool. I'm missing half a page of oh the Bible. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Wow. Uh, in that Romans 10, 13, where it says, uh, how shall they be, how shall they go? What is it? Unless they are sent? Well, Jesus sent us. And in a small and insignificant way, that's what we're trying to do with this video. It's not just tell you an interesting story to get a bunch of, a bunch of views or clicks or whatever the case is. We literally just want to share some life experiences that would have dramatically turned out differently had we not had a relationship with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Maybe somebody that's else it. is running into the same kinds of creepy things. things. Yeah. Right? And you're like, what? What is even going on? So that there, that's what's going on. You know, we take it for granted that people have been to church before or people that know what the Bible is or people, you know, have heard of who Jesus Christ is. But in this day, it's just not the case anymore. There yeah. are plenty of people that think Jesus Christ is a curse word and that's the end of it. And like time is short. It is. Yeah. We time, believe Jesus is coming back I know everyone said that. Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. Jesus, but, but like revelation events are happening now. So really he is coming back. And like, I don't know. Yeah. I always want him to come back right now. Did you, did you know that today, mm -hmm. there's a, or sorry, this week, no, this week, yeah. there's a blue moon, a blood moon, a, a lunar eclipse, and a super moon. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Plus there was a, an asteroid, is it today or yesterday? And then there's another one on Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. So there's All going got, on right now. Right. And so, yeah. And then the 5G network is being rolled out, um, you know. Which there's a bunch of nefarious soon. stuff nefarious stuff that's supposedly tied to that look it so. up look up yeah look up mark of the beast cryptocurrency bitcoin dragon chain they probably won't anyway if you care check it out <laughs> if you don't you see where you're headed don't bother um read your bible <laughs> read your bible yeah. read the book of john or read proverbs it's no, full of wisdom read the whole thing yeah start somewhere easy though and ask god to help you understand yeah, right? he will. It'll all be revealed to you. It's very, it's a supernatural thing. I used to put the onus on God and I would say, God, make it clear to me in a way I can understand. Yeah. And that's a, that's a prayer I think he'd uh, like to answer. Mm. Make it clear to me in a way I can understand. And then it puts the responsibility on him to get through to you when you need to know in a way that you can understand. Yeah. And he will oblige. Yeah. So there you have it. And I keep neglecting my channel. Hi. So, yeah, all that to say, don't go to hell, go to heaven. It's just that easy. It really is. You just need to pray and say, God, I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Yeah. And literally, if you just read a little bit of your Bible a couple times a week, you will, in a very, very short period of time, understand things that you never understood before. And God will prove it to you if you yeah. give him an opportunity. You know, I feel like I got to reread Revelation a bunch more times because it's all happening now. And I'm like, and Daniel, and if I'm go, I'm following like a one year Bible plan and I'm like, I'm not going to get to Revelation until Christmas again. And like, we, what if we're not here then? So I have to reread it like now. Sure. Just cause you know, it's so cool to see all that stuff happening. So yeah. I guess we should end the video now. Read, read the Bible and find out what we know. It's for everyone to know. And find out more and share it. Yeah. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, we don't know and everything. And comment below. We don't need to know yeah. everything. Oh my goodness. There's yeah. so much I don't know. I still don't even know what Gnosticism actually means. It starts with, to do with a G. Something to do with knowledge. People hmm. that are in pursuit of knowledge. Interesting. S students. I mean, I only just found out what esoteric means the other day. I've got 30 seconds left of hard drive left. Okay, so. well. All right. That, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya.